He's an NBA rarity, a rookie at the age of 31, but for the Blazers, Arvidas Sabonis was worth the wait. They drafted him back in 1986, but he has just now made his way from Lithuania to the States. You won't find a taller and older or some contend a more talented rookie in the game. Going back to basics is not a bad idea. Take, for instance, the Portland Trail Blazers Lithuanian player, Arvidas Sabonis, a player who, in my opinion, should have been named Rookie of the Year. After playing for 10 or 15 years in Europe, where he was an outstanding player, he came here to play in the NBA, supposedly the creme de la creme of world basketball. Here, at about 34 years old, and in spite of two bad knees, Sabonis is tearing most of our centers apart. He is able to do this because his play is fundamentally sound. Sabonis learned his game from old tapes of how we used to play back in the 50s and 60s and was taught by European coaches who learned their games from us. Even with a tired old body, he brought that old-fashioned game over here where he has become a standout player. He has done this at an age when most athletes have stopped playing altogether and with physical challenges that would have kept most of us on the sidelines. Using a sound knowledge of the game, he has made himself look better than most players who are younger and in far better physical shape. America is very different than Europe, and the first time we were lost because of the language. Right now we are learning the language and it's becoming easier. We will adjust, we will adjust to everything. It's right there. Who's running the asylum? No, the book is Who's Running of the Asylum, and it's being run by various forces that we don't even... In your book, Who's Running the Asylum, mm -hmm. you talk about a number of issues.